right here on Sports Talk 7-9. We're listening to the Arnold Factor. We're at Missouri City Parks and Rec Center. I got a question for both of you guys. I heard this on ESPN. Obviously, we had the suspension of, uh, of Sean Payton over there at the New Orleans Saints. And now that they signed Drew Brees, it seems like everybody's got a sigh of relief. Like, nothing is going to go wrong. And I was kind of surprised at this. But again, uh, you're speaking from an, uh, a fan's point, not an actual former player in the professional level. But I was listening to the ESPN broadcaster saying that, you know, there's probably not one team in the NFL that if their NFL team coach is gone, the team is really, really going to be affected as long as the players are still intact. Do you believe that, that the players play that much of a dominating role that if the head coach is gone for an entire year, like it's going to be with the New Orleans Saints, that they, they have no excuse and they shouldn't drop off? Love to hear from you, Chester, and love to hear from you, Indy, on this. Well, I, I really think that the relationship that Peyton and, uh, and Drew have, it's it's, it's not the norm. You, you don't see that kind of cohesion. You don't see, you know, coaching players brain waves on the, on the same path like like you've seen with them. And and because of that, I see, especially you know that team is, you know, they're offensively that the, the firepower is ridiculous. I mean, they they played really well. He put up 5,000 plus yards through the air last year. I mean, those things don't happen by accident. So to have such a drastic change in that, you know, they, they, it, it would have, you know, it, I got a feeling that it's going to be tough if they. Didn't get, I mean, getting Drew signed is literally the only thing that they've done right this entire offseason. They've, they, they've had about as negative as an offseason as shoot, going back to SMU and the death penalty as far as just drama and the and the, and the dark shadow over the team. So, I, so, so, so that was obviously huge for them to get that done. But I, um, it, it's one of those situations where because that bond is so great between head coach and quarterback, and quarterback's playing so well and playing like a star, that I think that there will be, that there will be affected but because they did get him signed and he's happy and he's back in the building and he's part of everything that, that you know they, they will find a way to overcome yeah I'm with them the signing of Drew Brees is going to lessen the effects of the blow of losing Sean Payton for the year but I don't think you could say all expectations should be the same uh, with Sean Payton now because Drew Brees has such a great relationship with him you need your head coach you need your coordinators we saw it here just to bring it back home in Houston with Wade Phillips being gone a couple of games. The defense just didn't look the same. And he still had his fingerprints in, you know, implanted on this team. And you, you need to be there. There's a special art to play calling. And Sean Payton was a very good play caller. Even when he was a young guy in the game, when I was in Philadelphia, he was a GA. And you could just tell that this guy was bound for greatness. Having him gone is going to hurt the team. So they had to get Drew Brees in there. It's a good thing they had him signed. And don't forget, people we're not even talking about the quarterback of the defense. Jonathan Bill is going to be gone the entire season. So all these little blows are going to affect the team during the season. As a holder, it really does begin to just kind of add up, and it's one of those things where you got to get all the stars to align if you want to be successful and have the year you want to have. But I, I'm, I'm going to shoot it back over to you, Danny. I was trying to fill those spaces. You did the microphone switch right there. That was a great job right there. That was a pretty, pretty good transition over here, you know? I think over here I can't really mess up. We're doing pretty good here. We're at the Missouri City Parks and Rec Center. Beautiful, beautiful facility. If you can't make it out here today, you got to definitely check it out sometime because I can't believe I've never been to a Parks and Rec Center. Have you seen anything like this before? Not, not at all. I'm, I'm a Missouri City resident, you know, proud of the state of Silver is, baby. Yes, baby. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited that they, that they built this facility.